In this video we will install a new latching relay to do away with an instant start timer for quick start applications. The latching relay eliminates the 3 second start delay and the need for the 632 TF timer except when a door start is required. For this you will need a bracket, part number 681-0002. You will also need a second mechanical relay, part number 681-0001 and wiring harness part number 613-1003. In addition, you will also need four screws part number 750, one 3 8 inch nut part number 731, two female crimp connectors, a set of crimpers, wire strippers, a flathead screwdriver, and a 3 8 inch wrench. In order to install the new latching relay, disconnect power to the machine by unplugging the machine. Remove the existing relay and follow the instructions for converting to the new style mechanical pump motor relay. Mount two pump motor relays, part number 681-0001 on the bracket. Use four screws, part number 750. Putting the entire assembly together beforehand will simplify the entire installation process. Now we will install the wiring harness, part number 613-0003. Put the red wire from the wiring harness onto the rear relay on post number 8. This will be our latching relay. Put the single-ended yellow wire on post 6 of the latching relay. Put the white wire onto post number 1 of the latching relay. Put the pink wire onto post 0 on the latching relay. Put the other end of the red wire on the front relay. This will be our pump motor relay. This is attached to post number 8 with the red wire piggyback connector. Put the other end of the white wire with the piggyback connector on post number 1 of our pump motor relay. Now we will install the assembly into the timer box. Put the assembly into the right rear corner of the timer box, making sure not to pinch any wires while doing so. Put a part number 731 nut onto the stud that goes through the existing screw hole in the timer box. This is to prevent possible short circuits. Put the red wire from the on off switch onto the red piggyback connector. The white wire from the on off switch goes onto the white piggyback connector. Put the red and blue wire from the pump motor onto the number 6 post of the pump motor relay. On older machines this is possibly a red wire. Put the wire from the coil onto post number 0 of the pump motor relay. This can be either a yellow and black wire or just a yellow wire. Put the two ended yellow wire on the yellow wire of the timer. On some machines you may have to cut the yellow wire and splice it in. It is wired for newer machines that have a yellow wire with a break in it at the master cam. The pink wire goes on the bottom post of the micro switch, the same as all chemical and mechanical operations of the timer. Put the red wire on the master cam on the second position of the micro switch. This is the normally open post. Now make sure that the yellow wire is in the top position of the master cam as all of the yellow wires are. This is the common position the one that power is directed from by the switch. Now restore power to the machine by plugging it back in and check for machine operation.